hey, how's it going? And hey, <laughs> where do I look? Hey, how's it going? I'm actually having a conversation with myself on Zoom to make this work. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? So uh, two different people uh, pretend and we're in Zoom and someone asked about the free version of Zoom if you can change your background and how you do that. So of course you can. You can, you can change it. It's kind of slick. Uh, over on my friend's phone here, hey, he's got a nice background of his room with his uh, painting that his wife made, something from Venice. And right here at the top, I, that's me. Okay, so uh, I don't want my big messy room in the background. It's not much fun at a meeting, so I want to change that. So down on the left-hand side where you see your, your camera, where you'd normally click that to stop your camera, turns up your icon, and start your camera, right beside that is a little up arrow. If you click on that, go to Choose Virtual Background. Click on that, and this pops up. I can click on none, which I have now, or I can pick some of these backgrounds that uh, came with Zoom. And I just discovered that there's actually some videos that you can uh, play in the background. Little loop. Here's one. It's kind of cool. See, it's breezing. I'm pretty sure um, I actually know that uh, Teams does not have video backgrounds, but I never tried adding a video background yet. Um, you can see that there's a bit of artifacts around me, and that's because the room in the background has a lot of stuff, so it's having a hard time separating me from the background. In which case, if you have a green screen or something behind you that's all one color, doesn't have to be green, you click on this button down here that says, I have green screen. So when I click on that and then click on a photo, let's say this grass, see where, where it had green in the background, it's keyed that into this photograph. Uh, same thing we do here. And people sometimes wonder, well, it didn't work very well. Well, the problem is I don't have a green screen, so I shouldn't have checked that off. So there's another photo that we took from somewhere, Italy or wherever in the background. It's pretty good, but we still see the stuff around my head. If you had a background, like if you're in a room that has a, um, I don't know, a white wall or something like that, you down here you can click on the color of your, where it says green screen. So I'm going to go ahead click on that color and you can see my mouse can uh, now detect a, a color so the color is white or blue. I'm going to pick this uh, whatever wall color it is and you see what happens? It's trying to find everything that that's that color and uh, key it out which includes my face. My face is almost the color of that background so or it's close that's why it's confusing it. So anyways don't click on the green screen and then just pick a picture you want. I uploaded this one earlier let's add one of your own. So this little plus sign right here in the center of the screen or to the right of the screen uh, between me and these photos, click on that. It's the add image or add video. I'm going to add an image and then I just go to the directory wherever it is that I have those and um, I've got them right here. I actually have them on a... let's see if I can just drag over this little folder here. Uh, there it is. Let me do this again. So I'm going to click on add image go to the folder where that exists and now I'm dragging the folder over so you can see I've got a few here I've got the uh, ah, I've got some zombies let's add that in um, I know the zombies look like somebody's coming after me uh, let's add another one uh, add image this time let's add um, oh this little fella here let's click on open you he's looking over my shoulder gonna hang out in the meeting and let's add the famous background photo of the nudist beach. Let's add that in there. Because I know you're all just loving that. It's not something, Eileen, you want to probably use for your class. But, you know, if you're having a party with your friends or whatever, you can throw that in the background. These will stay there. So you can have none. Or you can add whatever one you want. There's David that we got where, when we were in uh, Spain and uh, hey flip back to these these will save when you close it out remember though if you had this graphic in the background and you close out uh, close this out if you um, you know you're working zoom you got your zoom meeting it's all funny there's there's you in the background and your buddies are laughing ha 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 look at that and uh, first thing they're going to do is they're going to go to their background right and they're going to add something Oh, can they do it out on their phone? Sure they can. They go on their phone and they said, oh, there. Oh, there's my buddy, Chris. Look at that when he was a little guy. Or, there's my friend, Dale Wilman. He put that back there. There's my bridge. 
<laughs> what I want to mention is up here, if you close out this program and fire it back up again for your your meeting with your boss or whatever you're using this for, that's going to come up. So make sure that uh, you go down and change that background. Whoop. Click on the up arrow, click on choose virtual background, and change that puppy back to that nice bridge or to nothing before your next meeting. So that's it. There, hope that uh, helped you to change your background inside of FreeZoom. Cheers. Peace out.